Hello, my friends. You all know about invasive species that have harmed crops and livestock farms. To mention them as extreme invasive species, wolves cannot be ignored. Has your farm ever been visited by wolves? Why are they considered the most dangerous species in the world? Here is the video. If you feel like you and your friends would be interested in such a topic, feel free to share this video with all of your friends so that you can watch it and enjoy it as well. Wolves, talented predators, are causing great concern in farming communities around the world. These animals, large in size and agile, not only have incredible hunting abilities, but are also responsible for heavy losses on livestock farms. Wolves often choose tactical times, attacking at night when darkness covers all events. This makes it impossible for farm owners to face the ferocious wolves directly. They appear extremely wise when attacking in groups, increasing their strength and hunting ability. Their attack techniques are not randomly chosen. They often target the neck or head of their prey to quickly end a hunt without getting into a dangerous confrontation. The spread of wolves knows no borders. They are widely distributed on every continent, from North America to Europe, Asia, and Africa. Low density areas with many wilderness areas and small livestock farms are often where wolves cause the most damage. Wolves do not discriminate between the type of companion they have. From cattle, sheep, and goats to horses, pigs, and chickens, every species is a potential target. However, the livestock such as sheep, goats, and pigs often suffer the most at the cruel hands of wolves. The animal damage figure is impressive, according to estimates by the International Union for Conservation of Nature. Referred to as the IUCN, wolves cause billions of dollars in damage to the livestock industry globally. In the United States, animal losses to sheep industry alone is around $10 million. In Europe, this number is even larger, estimated at up to $50 million annually. So why do wolves choose livestock as their targets? Simply, they're easy, abundant targets meeting the wolf's need for meat. Additionally, they can also attack to defend their territory, posing a dangerous battle for any farmer who dares to challenge them. Wolves, with their superior hunting talent and contributing danger, are becoming a serious threat to the livestock industry worldwide. In the United States, where wolves have a widespread distribution, coyote attacks are typically frequent in the western states, where there are many wilderness areas and livestock farms. However, wolves are also capable of entering urban areas, especially when their natural food sources are reduced. This makes wolves a significant threat to humans especially when they feel their territory is being violated. Some other reasons on why coyotes attack humans includes humans encroaching on their territory, keeping animals that coyotes consider as food, or when they are sick or injured, 
These situations often cause coyotes to become aggressive and may attack people. One particular recent example of a coyote attack was on January 8, 2024, in Chicago, USA. A 32-year-old man and a 5-year-old boy became victims of wolves. The man was bitten on the buttocks by the wolf, and the boy was bitten on the leg. Both victims were transported to the hospital for treatment, creating one of the most notable recent attacks in the United States, leaving the community worried about personal safety. Such events reminds us of the need to protect natural coyote habitats and also increase attention to personal security in areas of potential wolf intrusion there. Wolves and their strength and agility are a fraught reminder of the consensus between humans and nature. They are dangerous factors. A significant source of many pathogens that can be transmitted from wild animals to humans and pets. Published in the journal in 2019, a study opened a window into the dark world of wolves, showing that they can be carriers of more than 100 different types of pathogens. These pathogens threaten the health of both humans and her small family members. Leading the way is rabies, a dangerous player from the world of viruses. Rabies can enter human life through bites, scratches, or even the saliva of infected coyotes. If not treated promptly, rabies can bring death, a clear warning of the dangers from the wild war. Faced with the risk of transmission from wolves, people need to continue to keep themselves safe. Avoiding being bitten is one of the most important measures. People can do this by avoiding traveling alone in wolf-infested wilderness areas, regularly traveling in groups in the woods, making noises to signal their presence, and carrying weapons. Take precautions when entering areas where wolves may be encountered. The reason why the app became the most dangerous invasive species in the world. One of the reasons behind wolves becoming an invasive species is that humans released them. Initially, they were cared for as companions and pets for the family. However, when they no longer have human care and attention, they are forced to return to their wild instincts. Wolves are highly adaptable to new living environments. They can exist in many different types of environments, from deep forests and grasslands to barren deserts and rugged mountains. When they become wild, this adaptation becomes a threat to the native animals living in that area. Competition between wolves and native animals is inevitable, posing new challenges in the natural balance. In addition, wolves can also become invasive species when escaping from protected areas. Although protected areas are designed to protect and conserve animal diversity, but wolves are sometimes able to escape from these areas. Barriers can be damaged or destroyed, giving them the opportunity to escape and become a threat to the surrounding environment. Natural migration is also an important factor that causes wolves to become invasive species. They are talented migrants, searching new lands to find food and build nests frequently.
When they migrate to new areas, they may encounter competitions from native animals living there. This can cause a reduction in the number of native species and affect the natural balance sometimes. If you found this video interesting, please comment number one below in the comment section as a signal for us to know that you really enjoyed this video, as this will keep us motivated to keep bringing you more interesting similar videos like this. And finally, turn on your notifications